Parker DMV, it's your girl Crystal Lorenze. And today I have DC's finest, uh, Mr. Leg, they call him, um, <laughs> All Talk. Okay, today I have here 3 0 Black. Hello, hello. <laughs> Just this his hair, y'all. I've been wanting to have him on for yeah. You see that shit? We junkie, period. But I've been wanting to have him on for a little while. But I wanted to make sure, you know, what I'm saying we felt each other's vibes and stuff. Like when I asked you to be on the podcast, did you feel some type of way? Like what? Well, not feel some type of way, but did you think of it like Mm-mm. nothing? Okay. Well, period. So, okay. So we're gonna go into. I really I watched a couple videos of you. Like I don't even really be knowing a lot about like the rap industry and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, of course, when I Googled you and looked you up, do you ever look up your network? Your network? Like, the net worth or the network? Worth. Like, my W-O-T-H videos. H and... of you. Like, oh. you say through your Blacks network. Yeah, I said, I talked about it in a song before. I remember one year it said, like, 33 million or some shit like How that. How the fuck did that, that, that happen? I said, Google, why you lying? <laughs> why? So that's real, that's true? My shit ain't no 33 million. It ain't that high. So why does it say 30? I don't know. That's my favorite number. How much I think I work? I mean, if it say 33 million, I really, like, how much do I think I'm worth? I think I'm worth billions. For real. Like, I I got a voice and the music I make, I think if you're an artist, you -hmm. could be worth the amount of work that you put in. Okay. Like, I go to the studio and record 20 songs, and them 20 songs could add up to, you know? You never yeah. know what you... So I feel like I'm worth billions, I, bro. That's a 30 million, baby. Oh, baby. Baby. Okay. Okay, so I know when we talked, um, like I told you earlier today, um, you kept it 100 with me, and I appreciated that. And, you know, you gave me a little rundown about, like, your experience real quick, like, as far as, you know, going to Miami, being in mm-hmm. Atlanta... Um, just give us like a little, you know. Um, every city has yeah. like, every city has its different like perks to me. Like, okay. Like living in Miami, I feel like mm, I was around everybody I needed to be around, but they was like on vacation time. Okay. So if I be like wanting to go to the studio and work, but they like, man, we here for two days. Like we trying to have fun. We here for one day, like something like that. So. Miami was just like a fun vibe for me. Like I really got to enjoy myself and just have fun, like and live life. Like that's the best. Living in Miami is the best time I ever had in my whole life. Of living, period. And when were you out there? Twenty nineteen to twenty, beginning of like twenty one. Okay, so you were out there during the pandemic. Yeah. How was that? It was cool because of the building I lived in. Like I had everything in my building, like. Basketball court, grocery store, the building, like everything I needed. The gym, the studio, movie theater, like. And then when I asked you, Miami or Atlanta? Miami. Miami over everywhere. LA? Yeah. LA is, every place is different to me. LA made me lazy. Okay. That's why I don't really. LA made you lazy? All I did was like smoke weed. I had like a little lean phase. Like, I had lean on in my refrigerator. So it just. LA just slowed me down. You said Miami. Okay, so I have another question. Like, through your whole experience being, you know, in the industry, mm-hmm. who's the one, either rapper or just, like, celebrity that kind of had you starstruck? I ain't never been starstruck. Really? mm Nobody that you just kind of, like, idolized that you finally got to see? I'm like, what's starstruck like? That's oh, my God. Like, like, yeah, like, fuck, like, maybe nah, you froze up not. a little. Like, not you didn't act weird, but you just like. I mean, that's for like that's why all these industry niggas and should be fucking with me. Like people tell me that all the time. Like that's why a lot of niggas fuck with me. Like I just be me. I never been like starstruck to see a motherfucker. Like, ah, I feel like that's I you might not say that. I didn't say. Yeah, I didn't nah. say. I didn't been around the biggest artist there is type shit, and I just. I know you won't say that, and that's why I was like, when I got here, I'm gonna go into to a little bit because maybe getting here, and I like, let me just get. I be that. just like this when I'm around them. I you, like your that. brain don't be like. Oh, that's the, no, you haven't yeah, in my head, I probably be like, that's oh, what I'm saying. That's, uh, you, uh, that's, that's not so starstruck. Struck. You don't have to. I didn't say you went. I, I said like, ah, you was like, yeah, like okay, nah. I ain't never been. Like, oh my god, nice bro, bro. No, 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 no. Nah, fuck no, I'm a chill nigga. You don't give me that type of, nah, type like, of person. So, mm, so who has given you that? Like, you just probably like, like. I'm not saying a lot of people like. 
I remember I first met Toy Lanes. Mm. We was hooping together, and I entered, like I ain't no type of nigga. Like if I, I know, I know who you are. I'm yeah. like, after we finished hooping, I'm like three old black, but nice to meet you, brother. He like, I know who you is, bro. I fuck with your shit. I was like, for real. Every time I introduce myself to a person, they be knowing who I am. You feel like, like they know because of that song, All Talk? Yeah. Okay. Probably that, but I met, to- like, me and Toy done been at, like, tables and stuff together. Like, he done gave me, like, bottles of Aces. Okay. But I never, like, got to really talk to him because we always in the club. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. I, like, my man, like, owned the club. So he just. What club? Like, just any club? Studio 23. Okay. Exchange like whenever I go to Miami, I was plugged in with all the people who like doing stuff. Like he was having, I met Lil Baby before me and Baby did a song. He put me like I go by myself. Like he just put me at Baby table. Like this my people. He good over here with y'all. Like and just kick with him. He put me over there with Tory. This my people. Blah blah. Like you want him? You good? Pull up, bottle y'all. I'm like, I'm back. But we never really got to like talk outside talk, of that. Talk. Okay, so if you weren't rapping, what do you? What would you do? <laughs> if you weren't rapping. If I had my ski mask on right now, I'd just pulled it down. I don't know. Like, jobs won for me. I tried jobs. No, I wouldn't be doing nothing like that. I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. Probably, like, acting. Like, oh, something okay. different. I mean, because I'd be acting now for real, but, like, Have something. Have you been in anything? Any short films? I just now got in my first. I just got my first two roles. Oh. Like, and I just, like, like shot the first show? scene for okay. one, like, two days ago. Like, so I'm really. I would like. What are you portraying? Like your person, your, your personality. Some this some don't different. like. This movie I'm about to be in now is called the Kickback. Mm. I'm like. It's a group of us. We like brothers. We like the brothers from Norbit type shit. Mm. Like okay. That type that shit. Lit. Yes. Okay, so I did see the interview with you and DJ Smalls where you were, you know, talking about losing a lot of people. And you know how you kind of numb to it. Do you feel like if you did it, like for example, you're a rap- rapper? Are you two questions in one? Do you feel like you're a rapper by choice or by circumstance? And do you feel like if all these things weren't happening in your life, um, like as far as losing people, that you would have actually like good music? Because I feel like a lot of your music comes from pain and things you've been through. For real. So yeah, when I, I don't really be putting too much pain in my music for because I want my music to be something you listen to like to turn up and enjoy yourself. If it turned up, I no, got pain songs. Like- I just listened to a couple of my songs yesterday. I was like, damn, this shit. Like the I'm not okay, jump man. Flock mm-hmm. is dead. We feel some type of way because our man had died like the day before. Mm-hmm. So we was in the studio. We talking like, that's my man. We really talking about our mental type shit. Like, how are you mentally? I'm, I'm fucked up. I'm not okay. Yeah. He went in there and recorded that. And I don't even think he say anything about I'm not okay on the song. We just named it that. I'm not okay. I mean, but you know, I'm from the area. So it, I, I definitely agree. It's like turn up music and stuff like that. But in the back of it, it's like a lot of those, like... A lot of those words come, or like scenarios come from shit that didn't happen in your life. Yeah, my mm-hmm. life crazy. Like my life OC. Like my man just died like last week. Recipes knucklehead. Yeah. Like that's my nigga type shit. Like since we like 15, 16. But I don't know. I'm really, I, I really be feeling numb to a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. His death probably messed me up a little bit. That's the first one in a while that like messed me up and had me just stuck. I was like, damn. Probably because I was thinking about everything. I'm thinking about this nigga's son. Like, his baby mother is my little sister. Mm. So I'm like, damn. Then my baby mother about to leave and go to Italy. So she gone. I got my son. And he gone now. So I got, I'm had his son. It's yeah. like, I got two kids now. I'm a single father, too, yeah. for real. <laughs> so yeah, I just be thinking right. about everything. Like, Okay, so would you say it's a choice? Or should, is this like, yeah, it's a like choice. rapping is a choice? Yeah, I chose this. Okay. Like, this ain't choose me. Like, I, I really chose to do this because people said I couldn't do it. So I just, like, let me show y'all niggas something. I feel that. Okay. Well, my last question before we go to the next segment. Um, I did see, because I know, you know, we talked about us losing our fathers. You lost your mm-hmm. earlier early in 2020. And I seen that you had a song, Far Away. Yeah. So, Far Away, I watched the video and and I heard it, but it's it didn't really, like, you didn't really talk that much about your father. Like, the first couple sentences, it's like, okay, that was specifically for him, him seeing yeah, you like, on TV. So, the only other reference to the father I saw was maybe the casket. But what uh, what, what else were you really trying to 
Like, what was the whole creative process for that video? Mm. I just put my brother on there, and I knew, like, I be trying to put my men in the light for real. Like, me, I don't really like making sad music. So if I feel like it's getting too sad, mm. I try to, like, turn it up a little bit. So my brother, he was talking, like, 100. He on the second mm -hmm, verse. That's, it. like, my blood brother. So I'm going to put my brother on here. And he popped his shit. So I was like, when we shooting the video, I was listening to it. I was like, it's giving, like, funeral or something to me for real. For real. Do you usually, are you the one that comes up with your creative, like, uh, videos? Yeah, like the concepts and stuff like that? Most of them, yeah. Okay, that's dope. You, you always been like that? Or just kind of something that after a while, like, you know, mm -hmm. music, you start, like, you know, you learn stuff from being in the industry, you start putting two and two together and start saying this is how I want my shit. Or you've always been like that. We be freestyling shit for real. Like, we planned that out the day before. Like, I found a church that said mm -hmm. I could use the church. I called the funeral home that my father had a funeral at. Because mm -hmm. they like, they like, when my father died, they wrote me on Instagram. Like, we'll take care of him. We'll do, we do it for this price. We'll give you that a deal. Yeah, like, not that church. Okay. The funeral home. Okay, okay. That his funeral was at. It wasn't at that church. But they was like, whatever you need, blah, blah. So I called them, like, can I use a casket? Like, and they was like, all right, we're going to bring it to you. Like, they pulled up in the hearse, all that, bought me a casket. We carried it in there. But hmm. I just freestyle stuff for real. All talk, I shot all talk video at like four in the morning. Just Yeah, I seen that you said that you didn't know that that was going to like blow up the way it did. I be and thinking I every song going to blow questions, up. But, because you didn't, uh, what's his name, asked you. How much that advance was? You was trying to say nothing, but can you give us a ballpark of like how much? I think I said it in one. And I do. Yeah, I did have another question about that too. Cause yeah, go ahead. How much? <laughs> my advance. You said everything. When so. I first signed, my advance was two hundred and fifty thousand at first. <gasps> okay. Well, it really was half a million because I had to wait like for a little while to get the to other get half. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. And then my second question, because when I seen this, I was like, this nigga. Why is it that when people, when, especially rappers, but niggas, whenever y'all get good money, y'all go buy a damn chain? Like, I get it, but what, what's the, that's the first thing, that's the first thing you said you bought. You yeah. said it's a trophy. That's your trophy. The first thing I got was a house. Mm. And then I got a chain. All my men like, man, you gotta get a chain. That's, that's your trophy. That's your trophy. Like, it's like a hood trophy. I don't even like jewelry for real. Really? Yeah, like, this shit a trophy. It's like, it show your accomplishment. Everybody can't afford. Like niggas be walking around with SI diamonds and shit like that. Little fake little foggy <laughs> diamonds and shit. Like everybody can't get no VVS chain yeah, and all this shit. Right. So. No, I was just I, I just seen it. I was like, this this is the type of shit that makes like, you know how we always like rappers like stop spending your money on like shit that doesn't cure value or whatever like that. And when I heard you, he's like, nigga, he's like, yeah, I want to go give me your motherfucking chain. I was like. I ain't do that immediately. I ain't get a chain for a little while. Wow. I got a spot first. Got some furniture. Got some TVs. Decked the spot out. Okay. Then I talked to my mother. I was like, I think I should get a chain. Like, niggas were telling me get diamond teeth. I had a chip tooth. Niggas was like, got them done. They look yeah, nice. get, get diamond teeth and shit like that. And I was with, like, my free band niggas. And Zoe Dollars. He was like, uh, fuck no, bro. He was like, go get them Jones fixed. Icy White. He said, you gonna get more females, bro. Than having diamonds in your mouth, you could talk to any female. I was like, they look nice. They look nice. Th thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. So we, we gonna go into the next segment, <laughs> poison, where I ask my guests, you know, what their favorite liquor is. But three old, I don't know. I just started drinking. So I'm like, no, let me stop. He told me he doesn't drink anymore. So we just gonna have water, and usually we just take a toast of it. Mm. But you already started drinking. I'm weak as hell. <laughs> we already started drinking, so we just gonna drink to that. Are we pouring up? Mm-mm. This, this liquor for real. This bottle look nice as hell. I've never had this yeah, one before. Yeah, man. See? I just put you on to some new things. You hear me? You did. Hawaiian volcano water, y'all. Gotta drink that volcano water. This in Fiji. This is my volcano water. So this is Fiji? Because I'm fire. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I'm weak as hell. Okay, so y'all. We just gonna go straight to the next one. I'm going to pick out of here a motivational quote and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think of it. And then the y'all gonna tell you guys what he thinks it means. Okay, so no person is your friend who demands your silence or denies your right to grow. Alice Walker. 
Well, Can you read that again? How? <laughs> that's a fucking BCR. Like, <laughs> you don't got a shorter quote? No, it ain't even that long. Do it's, the right thing. Like. Yeah, it's literally. Wait, shut, shut Wait, okay. No person is your friend who de- demands your silence or denies your right to grow. How it ain't that long. How you, you demand rapper? somebody's <laughs> silence? What that mean? What you think that means? Like, mean? like, say, say. Say, say. Say, say like you have somebody on your team, right? And right. they had ideas. And maybe they had good ideas, but just because you're that type of person that don't want to let nobody else shine, you just be like, all right, bro, we listen to it later. Like, you kind of silencing them so they don't talk no more. Like, mm. they in your circle. They, these motherfuckers don't like, they don't want to hear no good idea from you. Here, go ahead. <laughs> That's right. what I think it means. So, of course, everybody in my circle, you know, we all try to listen to each other. We give each other advice. Like, I don't have no friends in my circle that don't want to see me doing good. Like, I don't want no shady weird shit, and we all genuinely want each other to grow. So that's what I think it means. Like, mm. it's I don't know. I feel like ah, the man of silence denies your right to grow. I feel like a person who know like you a boss type shit that puts mm. you in a fucked up situation. Mm. That's like denying your right to grow type shit. Cause you know what the fuck like. It's like if my man know I'm the one who do everything like pay the bills, all this, take care of all these people, and you riding in the car with me with five, six guns as dirty as fuck or something like that. Yeah, I'm just, like this, yeah, no, that's it. I'm, I'm just giving a scenario. We get pulled over and you just act like this ain't yours. Mm. Like, why you No, no, that's true, but. Uh, I don't, my scenario. gun's legal. Like, I made all my men go get legal guns. I it's, love that. Yeah, but I feel like that's, that's really denying somebody right to grow to me for real, like. That's crazy. Like setting them up type shit. That's not, yeah, like, if, yeah, if you know I'm going to take care of you or something, you go to jail, take your own child. You, I can't go to jail. I'm, yeah. I'm the face. Like, if I go to jail, everything's shut down. Hey, Chico, get off me. Uh, yeah, it's like, everything's shut down. You can't, Jay-Z can't go to jail. Like the Biggie yeah. movie, when Biggie man, was like, I put my I put my socks on first. Mm. He's like, you put your gun on first, you put your socks on first, and he took the charge for Biggie. I probably remember that. Those type of niggas you need around. You need around. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you have that around you? Yeah, all my men solid. These done took charges for each other. All kinds of like crazy. Like, like my cousin just had like a a, a murder trial. Mhm. And he didn't do it, but he knew who did it. So. But he sat in jail for like two, three years until he beat the case. It's over now. He beat it. And so he, like somebody like a gunner, would you still listen to kind of like I mean I would still listen to gunner, but like how do you feel like you still fucking with gunner's music now and that he kind of came out of the snitch and stuff? I got, his opinion. I his got opinion. songs with him. Okay. And I'm mad that I got songs with Damn. him. Like even when like even when we did our song, I like called my manager like I don't feel right doing this song with him. Why? I don't know. Something just told me I shouldn't do it. Like, I really, I, call, I probably got the text it was message like or something. that moment that was weird. It was just like a feeling. Like, he didn't give you, he didn't give you no weird vibe. Yeah. He did. Hmm. Kind of. He know. just, I don't know. He ain't just seemed like the type of person I should be doing songs mm-hmm. with. The way you saw it, like, seeing him on social, like, just social media from just whatever, did you feel like it matched the energy in person? Mm-hmm. We didn't really talk. Talk, okay. Like when me and Baby did our song, we had like full blown okay. conversations. We talking about life, getting money, like doing certain stuff. Like when I did that joint, like we ain't speak, we ain't do nothing. We just in there, we was just chilling. Yeah. How many songs you got? With? Nah, just that joint. Just one. Ooh. Yeah, just that one. Okay. Well, now you got your bowl. What kind of bowl is this? It's, it's, it's a bowl. <laughs> this like the toxic bowl? Yeah, I'm gonna say toxic. I mean, my, How many questions my guess, though, I mean, my watches know what type of time it is. It's, it it could be any type of question. In I take like five jumps out of here. I don't really. If you had three clones, what is the one thing each of them, what would be created to do? What is the one thing each of them created to do? Yeah, so if you had three clones, not including you. What, 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 like, basically, what superpower would each of them have? One of them would be a lawyer. Oh. You stole one of mine. Go 
I need to because I went I first. I because I know I need a lawyer. One, I'm going to be a lawyer. Okay. Slowly. Tucks turned up to her. He said, L-E-O. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, you talking to somebody, even if you don't put no title on it, when is the cutoff for you to like, when do you know, okay, all right, but I'm about to take her seriously? If I see her cut all her niggas off, I cut all my bitches off. And you really be on your shit, I really is. But if I know that you want some weird sneaky shit or something like that, you ain't got to sneak with me. Have. You could tell me, like, I got females telling me, like, you could tell me I'm not going to go on a date with a nigga. All right, call me when that shit over or call me tomorrow. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. Not call me when it's over. You ain't mine. Yeah, I feel that. Do your thing. I don't give a fuck. That's dating type Call thing. me when it's my time to shine. That's a good one. Do your thing. All right, pick another one because I answered the question. Man, what is that shit? I know. You got my part. Shake it up a little bit. What you want to, you want to, the wow ass. I want the Carisha, please. <laughs> nah, hell nah. This shit too much shit to me. There we go. Some short, simple shit. See, if I, if I ask them Carisha, please, what I'm going to be real. What the fuck? I'm going to be real messy. What's that? Who printed this? You printed this kinky <laughs> ass shit, bro? I wish I did. Nah, you don't <laughs> wish you printed this. <laughs> what is that? How open to you are toys in the bedroom? <laughs> how is that kinky? You want it? Okay. Uh, how? Do you use toys in the bedroom? I did it before. Like, I, I stayed in this hotel in D.C., right? And the hotel, it was like a... What kind of hotel was it? It was like a big freaky hotel, I guess. So, I go in the hotel. They give me like a key. Like, you get my room key, then they give me a key key. I'm like, what the fuck is this key for? So, I go in the room, and I'm just in there chilling. Like, I had a little shorty with me. Like, what the fuck this key for? Like, and I'm just looking around the room while we like watching TV, chilling. I see a little lock. I'm like, oh, let's see what this shit is. Some snacks. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I open it up. They got like a little finger vibrator ring joint. You put it on. What the fuck? It was like condoms. Little... I was like, oh, this shit lit. Like at the deluxe suite? Like, what? Yeah, the room was like that. The little ring joint was like that too. I ain't never do nothing with this girl at the time or nothing like that. So I'm like, That's fuck it. Crazy. Like, I put that little thing on my finger. I, <laughs> I get the. I was like, oh, this shit lit. So, but I ain't, other than that, I'm, I'm open to shit like that. Like, you want me to do some extra shit to you? Little, I got, do you feel like toys are intimidating to men? I'm good. I'm like that. So, shit don't intimidate me. I know what I, like, I know what I'm on. Okay. Do your thing. If I ain't here, <laughs> pull your little with them down. Rose petals. Like, what's, pull a little rose out. Do your thing. I'm weak. I don't necessarily. You can play with your bros while I'm playing my game. Like, game yeah, do your okay. thing. I'm chilling. I don't want to fuck right I'm now. Get your bros. Play with them. I mean, I don't see it really. I personally don't see it being a problem. I don't care. If I'm busy, do your do thing. thing. I use, I mean, I'm not really fond of toys. I use the dick ring. The fuck is that? <laughs> Ain't that your brother? <laughs> yeah. Come on, bro. You ain't, you ain't trying to hear this <laughs> shit, bro. But it's, What's that? <laughs> it's, it's basically like a finger joint. Put it on my jaw? And so I'm going like, to vibrate? It's like... Oh! 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 I'm trying to go back to school. I feel sorry for you, bro. But now that's the only thing. And then I just, y'all, I just got a vibrator. Like, uh, like, like what you mean? Like the, the little Star Wars jump? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like it got the, it's like a cactus. What? Yeah. That ain't gonna hurt. I don't put the other one in. I just kind of use the top part. But I don't really be using it now because I got a nigga, so I don't be using it. But I, I sort of got I'm 28. You I just was, got I went, it, though. I went years without ever getting you a toy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got it right before <laughs> he came. You just said you just got it. Before he came in the picture. How long he been here? A month. Ah. You see what I'm saying? And I thought I sort of got I was going to go sell it before his ass came. So that's why I was like, you know what? I was in Walmart. So I was to They got it in Walmart? Yeah, I did in Walmart. They got a mm-hmm. section for I that? I thought it was going to be like locked in, but it was actually right Mm-mm. there for me. I just scooped it in my, and put it in my car. Oh, no. No. Uh-uh. Good talk. I'm weak, <laughs> I'm weak as hell. That's not even crazy. Why is it when we talk about it, it got to be weird? But ladies, y'all know I'm here with y'all. Like, it's okay to have toys sometimes. How many more Carisha uh, pleases we going to? could do one more. You said five more? One more. Five, five more. If you said you want to do five more, if you like my car. I'm telling you what time is it? Oh shit, okay, Trey I gotta be five minutes. Somewhere. Alright. We could do like two more. Nah. It's too much. Shake it up. Shake it up. 
Yeah. What else you gonna say? I don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm an Aztec warrior. <laughs> but it said, y'all was saying, it said, do you believe your partner should be shamed prior to sexual? Do you, don't, you really don't give a fuck? Man, I'm an Aztec warrior. Like, Even if it's hairy? Man. You gonna, like, it's. A, I ain't gonna eat that, Joan, if it's hairy, but I'm gonna jump up in there. Okay. Me? Go to Pound yeah. Town. You be shaving? Who? No, I ain't on that. I'm about, I'm about to. I, I thought of, somebody told me I should do that. No cleaning. Like, like get a little shape up Something. and shit. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> oh, there we go. What you did? I see my red dot popped on. I'm gonna really pick one. Let's see what this shit on. Blindness or deafness? Come on, bro. I'd rather be uh. I'd rather be blind or deaf. Nah, I'd rather be blind. You better be blind. That's a good one. I like too. I like music too much. Mm. I'd rather listen to music than like. See. Nah, I gotta see though, cause niggas, <laughs> niggas be on bullshit. Like, <laughs> nigga might try to get up on me, and I'm just. Nah, I, I changed it. I'd rather be deaf. <laughs> oh, yeah. You going with deaf? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be deaf. Be deaf. Mm. I'd rather be deaf too. Yeah. Like how I, yeah, yeah I can't listen you can't to music. See, can't see, can't I ain't gonna know man. what my song see. sound like. I can't rap. I ain't gonna know what that. I can't <laughs> rap no more. You can still act there. Like literally. Like you can act. You can be an actor. Say so you wanna be an actor, you wasn't gonna be a rapper. Name a deaf actor. <laughs> um hmm. Good talk. It ain't none. <laughs> if I Google it, Chelsea Google that shit. That's, that's fine. So you think Denzel Washington can't deaf? hear? How you gonna act? How you gonna like? You All you need to do is read, and they be having that shit like when people. I don't fucking know. But how am I like know when it's my turn to talk? <laughs> they gonna kill you in. They gonna like, I talk, but then say I gotta look just, away from somebody. As as you, <laughs> and you talking right now? That's how they cut. Why and you act like you don't know? That's they say cut, and they'll nah. tell your ass look this way. I think who? Is it who? Unknown. You never. You've never seen her before. <laughs> for being deaf, they feel sorry for her. In what? Her own movie. 1986. Come on. It's, okay. It's that's 2023. You already kind of looked at one. I want. Nah. I want whatever one you. Nah, I shuffled you, them up. Now. You, you agreed with. Nah, that's I shuffled one that them up. Okay. I shuffled them up. Don't be playing with my questions. Just don't be hitting. These ain't Carisha pleases. It's like, nah. Come on, bro. Come on, my philosophy. <laughs> this ain't Morgan State. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, what bro. Is what is, what is the say? number one reason you would wake up early? Come on, bro. <laughs> what is the one number one? That's not a bad question. What's the only- Y'all so used to toxic ass shit. What's the number one reason? Why would I? What's the number one reason why you would wake up? To live. (laughs) (laughs) Simple. (laughs) Like it's really simple. Hey, people have different reasons. It's really, really simple. What's your number one reason for waking up? To get to the bag. Come on. That don't. I'm good, that ass. But it said wake up. Oh yeah. Early. I guess that's cool. I ain't going to the studio early. So I don't really So like have, if you if you were to wake up like say genuinely you wake up early, what is it what you be I wake up, early up for? and take my son to daycare. Okay. Then I go home and I go to sleep. So that's the only reason I wake up early. A flight to get the hell out of here. People ask questions in there. I just don't know. It's, it gotta be mixed up with some other Maybe shit. this is a good one, cause this is a motherfucking long one. Your ex calls the day you get into a new relationship, would you go back or start fresh? Listen. Listen, y'all. Y'all don't want me getting into my ex questions and shit like that. Why? My ex called me when I get in. What she called me for? What she want? She trying to figure. She trying to talk. Mm-mm. Good talk. We ain't got nothing to talk about. I see my ex. I act like she not even there. Really? Like, we don't even exist. Not my big mother. We you cool. cool. You type to be cool with your ex? I mean, you cool with your big mother, but. Yeah, man. My big mother cool, but. Other... They say, say, uh, you got into a new situation. Y'all not really, y'all not together. Would you still be fucking your your your, fucking your, your ex? Mm-hmm. Would I fuck my ex? Yes. Like, 
depends on what, like, I don't really got exes for real. Mm-hmm. I got girls I used to fuck with, like, mm-hmm. but they weren't my girlfriends. But I never, like, I probably had, like, two, three girlfriends for real. Okay. And, and why? Because you, you, are you scared of commitment and shit? Nah, I've been outside. Like, I don't know. I've been outside for a minute. Like, I, and then I was moving around a lot. And the type of females I mess with, they be having, like, real jobs and shit like that. So, mm-hmm. they can't keep up with me. I don't got time for nobody just calling and see what I'm doing. What's your ideal type of girl? Just to put it out there. Because you always talk about stuff that you don't like, you don't want, you, you're out on the streets. So, what is your the ideal type of girl? Mm, my ideal type of girl, like a f- type of female that don't need me, but still can make time for me for real. Like, you don't really need a nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, so, a lot of these females need a nigga because they homeless. <laughs> and they don't got nothing going. They need niggas to survive. Okay. I need a female that don't need me. She got her own everything. Like, but. You still like, you make time for a nigga. You know how to just relax and calm down. Like, females be tripping over Instagram comments and shit like that. Like, just relax. Like, I don't know these people. Yeah. Like, I be dealing with, I done deal with some wild, dumb females. As soon as you do anything toxic to me, I just leave you alone. Any sign of toxicity? You say fuck it. Like. Are you like a. Um, do you date like industry people or are you kind of like, want people to be low key? I tried to fuck with like, <laughs> yeah, I tried it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I tried. Try it. He fighting right now? Ah, uh, okay, okay. So that's we could we could end it because that was like eight questions. That's the most questions I ever did ever. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. Alright y'all, so <laughs> this was good, even though he tried to play my fucking questions like they was some shit. There's some good ones in there. But I wanted to gift you with something. I did give you some merch. Oh that you yes. God. Be surprised, please. Oh you God. say you, you still got my merch. So I, I need my pictures, but I definitely wanted to give you something else because I felt like honestly you really do a lot in the community. You do a lot in the DMV. And oh you play too much. <laughs> And I wanted to give you something different than merch. So I usually give this gift to people. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to get my thoughts together. Okay, I usually give this gift to people who I really honestly feel like y'all really made a staple in the DMV. So here you go. It's not, you know, see. the podcast is still new, still looking for funding. So she got stuff. me a Glock. <laughs> oh my God, it's a gun. I am Hey, look, y'all. It's a little trophy. It says, we acknowledge 3-0 block. So we just wanted you to have something just to, you know, recognize you and let you know that we acknowledge you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Some shit like that. And I know she's going to put this right there. Yes. I'm glad you like it. Like she got like, oh, You like it for real? I'm I'm dead at it. I'm telling my mother's going to. I had to that shit. I had made his ass drop 30 minutes away. Out the door, bro. (laughs) Went out the door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much. This y'all, this was a, this was real quick. This was a last minute um, podcast, like we scheduled it, and um, I appreciate him for even uh, um, you know agreeing to come on and just supporting what I got going on. Even though you know it ain't even pop yet, but I just appreciate people who literally you know support people from the bottom instead of just you know being faking. You know, acting like they don't know how the fuck how the shit goes. Yeah, like, I ain't boozy. Yeah, like I'm that's the chilling. word. I'm coming back, y'all. Part two. We might get my own segment on this junk. It's nah. called Toxic Questions with Three O. I can do that though. Everybody been bringing up ideas. I, I swear to God, you said with Three O. Toxic Questions with Three O. They said to get one. Say Crystal, please. What time is your one? A leg, please. Okay. What? Toxic question. That's my shit gonna be called. Okay. A uh, leg, please. We can have. We, we gonna have that, and it's gonna be literally all the wild ass questions. Like, like I said, I don't be wanting yeah. to do too much crazy shit on here. But if y'all really want that, I can give it to y'all. Give me y'all the A leg. Tell her in the comments. A leg, please. We A-leg, need three O back. He knocked him out. But I right, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming on the podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and watch for the next episode. Peace. All right. Yeah.